Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Here I'm going ahead and I'm uh, going over an EATX 2000. Something I got off of eBay. I've been working on this system for a little bit. We have GoTech here. We have the Pi Storm. ZZ 9000. The Buddha, the Buddha. And also, Flipbox. This is what I got running here. My name is Bootleg, B-W-O-O-T-L-E-G. I wanna give thanks for you guys coming to my channel and happy Labor Day. Today I'm showing an uh, Amiga, I'm still working on this. It's a 2.2, the jumper edition. Get out of my car, but I like Caribbean cream better. Anyway, we got the Agnes 8375RO with the two megabyte chip ram zz9000 video card the great zz9000 but this crashes if i um enable all the rtg but i'm not really using it for that i'm using uh, using it for ham 6 to do some little video things and of course we got the buddha ide this is only 64 megabytes from a uh, sand disk Pi Storm X, which is up here, and then we got the 1.2 there running it. And Amiga OS 3 Deuce Deuce, which is great. And we got the wireless or the USB adapter for the keyboard. It's the only way I can get this thing to run. I'll talk about some of the problems I have with this right now. As we continue on, sorry, this is coming out. This is a Fractal Designs G. You could get this from the excellent people that's online. They're also on eBay. This is the same one that they use for the mediator and stuff like that, but the back plate is the original back plate. I think they go ahead and they grind that out. This had a cage here. I grounded out some of the bolts and stuff so I could get the cage removed because this motherboard won't fit. It only gives you a little bit of space. I'm gonna go ahead and run some testing in a second and I'm going to put that directly into the system so you guys can see it. But you gotta make sure that your GoTech is uh, 3.38 or something similar like that because this thing won't boot without it. And I'm also having a problem with this card, if I enable everything, it crashes, but the Indivision ECS also crashes. So that's not shocking. There's something going on in these lines, interrupts, I'm not sure. Or maybe I have something set on the opposite side. I think this motherboard might have pins on the opposite side, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and run some testing and you guys can see why I think this may be good. If you're doing something like Lightwave and you want like Ham 6 and stuff like that, why would I do that? I'm still questioning why I would use all this power to do something like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got. Well, after you wake up and realize you don't wanna hook up the audio mixer and do some of the other buffalet stuff to get this thing to go, I went ahead and I booted it up. Now, if you look, I can go from VGA, HDMI, this is what I'm really here for. The HDMI is really crisp for this. Now, if you install the software with this, you gotta have to pull the ZZ9000 out of devs because this thing will crash all over the place. It'll say that the firmware is wrong and this and that and that. I only really have the regular PAL screen in here. I don't even think that Picasso is doing anything at all. I start this up. Since I'm using Plutbox, I have to use SDO to mount. I installed a few files on here. There's my card. Now, if we're going to go into sysinfo real quick, we're in sysinfo, but if you look, you do see the 6040, that's the Pi Storm, X. You still see the, I guess it's the cyber graphics. You still see RTG, I really can't, get that to run properly. But what's important is you see the boards, all the boards is there, the Buddha ITE. 
I'm gonna guess this is possibly the ZZ9. Let's get out of here. And this isn't flash to be the fastest in the world. And it's still the 2W or whichever. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the speed. You guys love the sys info. Oh my goodness, how many dry stones? But this is 565,000, a thousand times faster than the 600. You see the 2000, it's eating it alive. 30 times faster than the 4000. The chip speed is slightly under. And then of course you got the drives. I don't think I'm really gonna do it. I might crash all over the dang place. Let's see what I have here. What do I even load with? Oh, let's see. SD0. Oh, this is the other one. Oh, it's the Buddha. All right, let's check it. I don't want nothing that's going to crash all over me. Hopefully, I don't crash right now. That's taking forever. And I'm still moving, which is extremely slow. But it is a small drive. It's an old drive. It's basically something from an old Cisco system. So that might be the reason why it's semi unhappy. But it says I'm going seven megahertz, that's wonderful. Got an FPU in here, no MMU. Virtual Amiga, I don't know. Let's quit this. All right. So I was saying before, I have uh, the Picasso in here, but unfortunately, I don't got everything rocking, but I have enough rocking for what I want to be. I just have the regular PAL, high res mode. This is what I'm gonna use. Sorry, the other drive I'm using in the clip box is also PyStormish, but I made an Amiga folder. I have Lightwave in here. Now I learned these things from uh, Q, of course. I'm gonna sign this real quick. Cyber graphics is not, it's not enabled, so. What really counts, I'm not going to use this FPU version because this is like a cracked version, but for some odd reason, I have no color in it. So I'm going to go to Lightwave. If it goes to VGA, give it a second here. Now, this is the regular, uh, this is easy, I'm going to guess, because when I go to the regular VGA, that's coming directly out of this board. Woo! It was dancing all over the place. So that's not what I'm here for. I'm go here. I'm going to do a scene and a load. I don't know. Most of the time I go to that random ape. And I'll just go to the small ape. Uh, yeah, it's going to take too long, I think. It's pretty fast, but I just wanted to show a little bit of some light wave action. I have a few uh, settings enabled on this to get it to kind of move faster. I really want to use a different accelerator on this, but for right now, this is the only thing I got that, well, I have the Firebird and a few other things. But what's to me is, look, look at the speed of this. Look, look at this. When I move this around with something else, with other displays, I've never got this thing to move this fast. So I could do a quick preview. I'm gonna make it. And okay, that's fine. Now I don't know a lot about Lightwave. I'm still learning, I'm still watching and things like that. I just wanted to show the speed of what this Pi Storm can do with the 2W wireless on top of this 13, 14, 15. I don't think it's that many frames. And we can play it back. This is Palish, and this is going way too fast because this doesn't have enough frames. But you can kind of get the gist of, I think that someone can use this to really record with because it comes with great clarity. Now, I'm just going to take a scene. Let me do an F9 real fast. Mm. 
Okay. It's going to go ahead and put that one frame up there. So give it a second here. I got to do things manually. I don't have anything set up. And for some odd reason, I think I still got the black and white. I have to go right back and check my settings. But I really wanted to show the time that this is going to take. It could be the driver I'm using for the ZZ9000. Oh, there we go. It's starting to get the color in. Or maybe I just didn't wait long enough. Maybe the colors come in later. But this is the same. Look at the ham. You guys remember this stuff on uh, the CRT TVs? Man, the good old days. And they'll move around and stuff. I had to go back later on and save some of the pictures to go ahead and make a little video. but And maybe put a background. But basically... That was mostly what I was attempting to show. Some of the light wave, the speed of the light wave and stuff like that. How this can go. I know this is a crazy configuration for me to use Plipbox in this. It does crash every blue moon, but I think that's my Pi Storm. What I'm using to drive it is probably really crazy. Let me see in tools, I'm gonna do a show config real quick. Okay, with expansion. See all the Schultz. So this is the Z3, the IDE, and I'm guessing, oh no, this is a Z3 right here. So what is this? I don't know. That is, that's RTG. So it does load it, but if I go ahead and I do the full install and I let it run, it will crash. The firmware on the little SD card on the ZZ9000, the firmware will be zero and it won't run. But if I use it for the way I'm using it now, which basically is what I was going to use it for because I have a 12,000 with a vampire. Uh, I have other systems. I, I, I have a mist. I have a mister. Uh, I have a 1230, I have a 1260, I don't know what I'm doing with my life, but thank you for watching this video. Now, you're going to see, this is the main reason why this thing will not work for me. Look, there's no aux voltage and no cold voltage. So man, I don't know if this card is particularly jacked up. If I hit this low pass and whoo, I'll go over the place, the bus test takes over. And I won't be able to stop it. But thank you for tuning in to my channel. And I hope you have a great Labor Day. Peace.